What's up guys, in today's Shopify tutorial I will walk you through step by step setting up your very own Shopify store. We are going to go over all of the important customization settings so that you understand how to create stores that actually look great on mobile and on desktop and we are also going to go over all of the essential backend settings so that you can take payments, ship out your products and so on. But to get started let's actually get ourselves a Shopify free trial. You can use the link down below to get yourself the best free trial deal out there right now, saving you quite some money whilst also supporting me for completely free. So once right here, put in your email address and move forward with these steps. Once you are right here, make sure to activate your free trial by choosing one of the plans for your free trial period. I'm going to go for the basic one as this is going to get the job done for most of the stores out there when starting out. Now let's just put in our details. And now that we've successfully enabled our free trial, let's head over to the products tab on the left and let's add our first product. We can add a product title, description, as well as the media. So basically images, videos or 3D models. Now that we have added all of the details for our product, we can go ahead and set the price. Now, in this case, we do have two different prices which we can set. First of all, we do have the normal price. This is what people are actually going to purchase this product for. Let's just say that this is going to cost 50 bucks. And then we can actually also set a compare at price. Now, when a compare at price is being set, it basically just looks like you have a sale going on. So if you are going to do a compare at price at 79.90, this is then going to look like this product is discounted from 80 bucks to 50 essentially. If we'd want to, we can then also set the cost per item and basically uh, based on what we're going to put in right here, we can then see the profit, margin and so on. Now I'm going to track the quantity for this. I'm going to say that I do have 200 of these available and basically as for the shipping, right here we can then also put in how much this is going to weigh. I'm going to say, yeah, two. Now as for the variance right here, I'm going to add a variant for the size so that we can then actually add small, medium, large and so on. So in this case, we are going to have this by default. We can just select that right here. If needed, you can then also add other variants right here like color, fabric, age group and so on. And you can even create custom options if needed. And once you've added these variants, you can also set individual product images. This for example makes sense if you do have multiple kind of colors available. As for the category meta fields, for now we can actually leave this at the default and let's now actually save our product. I've now added some more products for us to use and I've even set up collections to categorize these products. You yourself can also easily create collections by clicking on here and by then giving your collection a title and selecting all of the products which you do want to have inside your collection. You can also add a description and an image but this isn't really necessary. So let's now actually continue by actually customizing our Shopify store. To do so, head over to the sales channel settings and to the online store settings on the left. And as you can see, by default, we are going to have the Horizon theme installed. Now this is actually a brand new Shopify theme. And if you ask me, basically the best theme out there right now. However, still you can basically use the Shopify AI website builder if you want to. In my opinion, this isn't 100% there yet when it comes to the overall customizability, features and so on and you can then actually also browse popular free themes right here and you can even visit the theme store. So let's actually open up this in a new tab. And this is how the theme editor is going to look like. On the left you do have a general overview of your website. You can then select certain sections, groups and certain blocks and you can then view all of the settings on the right. Otherwise you can simply just manually click on certain sections or blocks and you can then also find the settings on the right where you can then basically customize these certain sections. Now let's actually get started with this from top to bottom. So right here we do have our header. Basically one other thing which we can add inside the header menu would be an announcement bar. So let's actually add that. This announcement bar is basically great for displaying certain kind of incentivizers on why people should buy right now from our store. But I'm actually going to drag this announcement bar all the way to the top. Yeah, something like this looks good. We can then select it and we can then change the speed. We can change the section width, color scheme and so on. Now things like color schemes can actually be changed inside the theme settings right here. These theme settings basically work as general guidelines for your store. So right here you can set color themes, you can set your fonts, you can set your page layout, animations and so on. And based on what you are going to put in right here, this is then automatically going to be updated all across your store. 
One thing which you will have to do right here is to actually upload your logo. So let's actually do that. All right, I've now uploaded the default logo and I've also added an inverse logo, which is going to be used for the transparent headers right here, which is basically just going to have the contrary color to the default logo. Perfect. Now, one thing which I don't like right away is that this logo right here is so big, so I'm simply going to delete this right now. Now, of course, if you would want to customize the colors or typography, you could actually do that right inside here, but just for the simplicity, I'm going to keep this at the default. We can then actually go back and we can go ahead and actually customize the header menu. We can change stuff like the logo position, menu position, if you do have a search icon or not, I'm going to actually disable this as I don't really have that much products inside inside my store and we can then actually also change the overall appearance. Now to change these menu items right here, head back to your open Shopify dashboard, head over to content, menus, select the main menu and right here we can find our menu items. I'm going to delete the catalog and the contact tab and I'm going to add a new menu item and I'm just going to call this shop all and I'm going to link this to the all products tab. Let's save this. This is now going to take a couple of seconds to update. As for the other settings, I'm just going to leave this at the default for now. Right here we do then have our hero section, basically the most important section of our store. This is going to be the thing which customers are going to see first. Now, I actually don't really like this default hero section, so I'm going to delete this and I'm rather going to add a new section and I'm going to actually add this hero section right here. Right here we do have a text, we do have some subheadings and a shop now button. Let's actually select this and let's add an image onto this. I think this does look really good. Let's now actually also change the text so that this is going to be aligned on the left bottom. To do that, head over to layout right here. As for the position, change this to bottom. And then as for the alignment, change this to left. One other thing which I don't really like is that there is just a way too big gap right here between the text and between the button. To basically change that, select the text right here and change the padding to something, yeah, I think something like 8 is going to work. Yeah, I think this does look way better. We can then of course change the text, we can change this text as well and we can basically put in whatever we want, but I think that is pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. When it comes to the button, I'm going to select that right here and I'm actually going to change the style to secondary as I think this does look way better and this now kind of has a glossy effect. Perfect. Let's now actually go ahead and let's continue customizing our store. We can then, for example, also add something like a large logo, a marquee, a split showcase. So in this case, this would make sense to display certain kind of collections for our store. But let's not overcomplicate this and let me actually delete this. However, one thing which I do want to show you is that with the new Shopify update, you can basically build up custom sections only with text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new block and I'm then going to simply just select the generate block. And now we will have to simply describe the block which we want to add and Shopify will do all of the coding itself. So let me actually show you this. I have now added these instructions and let's see what this is going to come up with. And this is what it actually came up with. Pretty good if you ask me. Now let's actually also look at the mobile view and I think on mobile this actually does look even better. This even does have kind of a pop-up effect which I really like. So overall you really have to play around with these AI features because they're literally game changing. Now one other thing which is important to notice is that under products right here and under default product. You can then customize your product page. One thing which I would for example do is to then select the product media and to then basically select the type and select carousel. I think this does just look way better. However, in the past I've actually made a complete guide showing you how to exactly customize your product page so that you are going to have the highest conversion rate possible. I will leave you a link down below. Make sure to watch that. It's super important. But let's for now actually save our theme and let's head back and let's head all of this. Let's rather head over to the settings and let's go over some of the backend settings so that you can actually take payments, ship out your products and so on. First of all, to accept payments, head over to payments right here and simply just enable Shopify payments. Click on activate right here and this will then basically run you through some questions. You will have to submit some information about your business and so on. This is super straightforward, but basically once you've selected this, you're then going to have Visa, MasterCard, Afterpay and a lot of other stuff like Apple Pay and Google Pay enabled for your store. This is literally a game changer. Additionally, you can always add additional payment methods right here like PayPal, Amazon Pay and so on. You're basically going to have countless different options for this. You can even add stuff like crypto. And once you've set this up, let's opt out of this and let's actually head over to the 
markets tab on the left. By default, we are going to have the United States, so our domestic market right here. However, if you would want to sell internationally, we can simply just create an international market right here. And this is then going to allow us to basically select all of the countries which we want to sell to. Basically just go through this, make sure to select all of the countries where you do want to have your store available and then click on done and save this. And like this you can then basically ship out your products internationally. You can then head back to the settings, head to shipping and delivery and and right here we can change our shipping prices. By default we are going to have our domestic shipping zone right here. In this case for orders $50 and up, so for orders above $50, this is going to be free. You are then going to have economy, um, basically you are going to have some kind of tariffs right here. Either way I would recommend you to just go through this, edit this depending on your own likings. In most cases it's actually pretty good to offer a free shipping just to boost the average order value. However one thing which is important, if you do want to say internationally make sure to actually also update these rates right here so that you can then actually ship internationally and so that you don't make minus on orders okay now once you've set up the shipping the only thing left to do basically besides buying a domain is going to be to actually set up the policies this is super important right here shopify is basically going to allow you to automatically set up return rules return and refunds terms of service and so on and it's actually mandatory by law to actually set this up and to show this on your store so just click on manage right here go through the questions turn this on and repeat this process with all of these uh, different kind of terms of service right here in this case you can insert a template but make sure to actually read through this because there are going to be some uh, kind of sections like right here for example where you will have to insert your own information and where you will ac actually have to do something okay so right here we will have to also insert the return address and so on but i'm just going to add these for now and once you've added all of these written policies we will now have to make them visible on your store to actually do this head back to the online store settings right here navigate to the customization options Go all the way down, enable your footer, then add a new block right here, add a menu block and then select the footer menu right here by replacing it. Perfect. Now by default this is only going to say search, but let's actually add back, let's head to content, let's head to menus, let's head to footer and right here we can then add all of our menu items. So we can then basically select our content information. Um, contact information we can then add all of the other policies as well and now these are going to show up on your store perfect the only thing that we will have to do right now is to actually buy a domain right here and to then actually launch our store we can do so by simply just removing the password and now our store is live i will leave you some important videos to improve your conversion rate do email marketing and so on on screen right now i would highly recommend you to actually watch them to have even better results with shopify either way make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and i will see you in the next one